Turn 15 for Tracksuit Mafia. No reason not to stall till turn 16. Two die blitz, double skulls! Final TRR gets spent, this will be a good hit. No TRRs left in the game. <laughs> gets a KO. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> This is brutal. <laughs> Eight players have <laughs> been knocked off the pitch. <laughs>
catch the ball carry. That's it. Turn 16 for a reptile dysfunction. They've got a two die block coming back against Lisa Lowe, but it is an unskilled block. Oh boy, that's a good block. Wow. Scary stuff. A blitz against Avril Levine would do it. Here it is. It's fine. He'll blitz uh, Mariah Carey instead. And that'll be enough. We're going to overtime, folks. We're going to overtime. Here it is, one to one. Hank the Ranger says, hope to be back to defend my Dungeon Bowl Championship this year. I hope so too, I look forward to it. What a game this has been so far, one to one. And this, look at that! That's what we're talking about! <laughs> That's what we're talking about! Passes the bomb to the thrower! And now the thrower is gonna pass! Doesn't get intercepted! Wow! <laughs> what? Holy moly! That's exactly what we were talking about! Pass to the thrower! The thrower! Knocks the ball carrier down. And now Shale, the goblin, has picked up the ball. Absolutely marvelous. is going to blitz as the block skill and mighty blow is going to get a push but a frenzy follow-up to try to surf here well done well done by penny the ghoul i'll be careful of that frenzy surf i know <laughs> i know not even with a frenzy i know <laughs> well done by penny the ghoul there three man player advantage Good knockdown by the right side. Fletch Goblin, Mr. T. Turn four, final turn of the first quarter now. The journeyman lineman stands up in front of the left side. Fletch Goblin, good dodge by Pony Malone. Jump up, gonna try to surf this werewolf here. One die block, it's all they needed. Well done by Petting Zoo players. Oh no! <laughs> Scooby-Doo, where are you? <laughs> wow, a surf for a surf. Scooby-Doo dies. It's a Necro team. They don't have 
an apothecary failed the regen roll and Scooby-Doo is just dead. Level three. position he's now oh my goodness are you kidding me are you kidding me that is a dodge that only succeeds on a six he got the six to the uphill block that will keep the drive alive he got a pow and a defender stumbles result. The ghoul has the dodge skill, so he's not going to get knocked down. How is that not a... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mid-Atlantic Modeling League. It is the final game of the season. That's right, it's the championship matchup. 
here in Blood Bowl number two. And man, man, haven't they been great so far? It's gonna be great tonight as well. Tonight we have Neon and Nuffle versus PPFC, Clapheus versus El Nubarino, Chaos Dwarves versus Lizardmen. Man, Bash, Bash Central tonight. Bash Central. Not so trusty patches, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it very, very much. You can see how the Blood Bowl bracket has shaken out this year. Knee high to Nuffle, the Chaos Cup champions defeated Pity the Ghoul, the Dungeon Bowl champions to make it into the finals. Whereas a Reptile Dysfunction, the Spike Magazine Trophy champions defeated PPFC in a Lizardman Mirror match. They are the runner up winner. They're now advancing to the finals tonight in the consolation match for third place, Pity the Ghoul would defeat the current league champion for one more game, a Reptile Dysfunction and Nick Satan. Pity the Ghoul will end up in third place. A Reptile, Dysf uh, a Reptile Dysfunction ends up in fourth. And in the runners up bracket, you can see PPFC defeated Jingles all the way to advance to the upper bracket. Jingles all the way had a great run in the Dungeon Bowl coming up as the runner up there in the Dungeon Bowl. Uh, they'll end the season in fifth place. All great coaches, all great teams. But tonight, tonight it's all about lizards and chorfs. We'll look at Nihai to Nuffle first. They're coming in a TV of 1710. That is a lot, a lot of value on this team. 12 players on the roster. You can see the two bull centaurs, the fastest players on the team, other than the hobgoblins, of course. Lots of Chaos Dwarf blockers, uh, a number of hobgoblins, and of course the big guy, Asterion. The level two Minotaur, to round out this roster, one cheerleader, three TRRs, one apothecary, nine fan factor, one coach assistant. That is what he's coming into the game tonight with as a, a Dwarven team. He's got lots of block and he's leveled up to pick up a lot of guard as well. He'll be up against PPFC, the Pips, Pippi fan club, coached by El Nuberino coming in at a TV of 1660. That means, uh, 50k currently going to PPFC. Not a whole lot you can do with that. You can pick up a babe. That would not be bad with uh, with these skinks on the roster. Six Sarses because why wouldn't you have six Sarses on a lizard team? Bjork the Crocs, the big gal. She's on the roster as well. 13 player roster rounded out with a number of skinks. One cheerleader, three team rerolls, one above carry, seven fan factor, one coach assistant. Boy, oh boy, I, I honestly think this game comes down to one really simple fact. So look at these skinks here. They all have sidestep. Uh, Britney Spears, the level three skink has block as well. She is a blodger. Uh, these will help keep these skink, skinks on their feet. There are two players with Mighty Blow on the roster as well. But uh, this is it right here. These six skinks, this determines who wins or who loses. I think uh, Nihai to Nuffle tonight, they're coming in with these these dwarves, they're gonna use all that guard, they're gonna use that high AV, and all they need to do is stop the run. I say all like it's gonna be easy, but uh, if they can just stop that run dead in its tracks and go hunting for those skinks, they come out on top tonight. It is just that simple. He does have Asterion with Mighty Blow and Claw that is a scary combination, also Frenzy and Horns. Uh, Asterion's almost always going to be blocking or blitzing each and every turn. And then for PPFC, those skinks are the only ball carriers on this roster. Everybody else has an AG of one that's miserable. That's absolutely miserable. It doesn't get any lower than that. Avril Levine has a massive AG of four. For PPFC, I know they're a lizard team, but I think they're going to have to play tonight as a little more human. I think they're going to want to leverage that speed that they have. They have a significant speed advantage on um, uh, I was going to call you Jingles all the way on <laughs> knee high to Nuffle. They have a significant speed advantage on knee high to Nuffle. And I think they need to leverage. Now, they can't just run a skink into the backfield by itself and uh, and have it get knocked down. They have to protect these skinks at all costs. Well, maybe not at all costs, but they have to pr protect these skinks because they're the only players who can pick this ball up and run with it. But I think if on offense, I think PPFC, if they pick up that ball, if they can get the ball carrier down pitch, and they can get a protective line between the ball carrier and the defense, they can score and they can score pretty quickly. Um, on the other hand, on defense, I think he just needs to keep those skinks in the secondary. He needs, there, there's no passing game that he has to really worry about. 
He just needs to play cautiously. He needs to use his strength to take the blocks. If he can pull off Mighty Blow, that's great, but he's got a lot of AV to eat through. These these chores have an AV of nine. They're very, very difficult to take off the pitch. Um, very difficult to break armor. And then once he does with the Mighty Blow players, hopefully that he can convert that into something. But but really, I think it's it's all about him using his speed to his advantage on offense to score. Um, maybe not as quickly as possible, but as efficiently as possible. And for both teams on defense, stopping that run. Nihide and Uffle does have to worry about the passing game, I think. Uh, six skinks, all with an AG of three, except for Avril Levine, of course, who has that AG of four. Um, the passing game is a very real threat here for PPFC. Again, he does have the one blodger. It's going to be very difficult to take down Britney Spears. Four of these six skinks have sidestep as well. That will help keep them on their feet as well. Sidestep, and the reason for that is sidestep gets to be chosen by El Nuberino for the push, and he can push in any adjacent direction he wants. So he can avoid chain blocks that way, right? Uh, the less dice he's eating on blocks, the better. Uh, he can also use that to sort of scoot forward toward the end zone to get some extra movement if if um, PPFC, or not PPFC, if, why can't I think of Nihide and Uffle's name? <laughs> in case Nihide and Uffle wants to take a block on those skinks when they're down, pit, uh, down pitch. So I, I think it all centers on these skinks. If the skinks can stay alive and PPFC can leverage them, I think he wins. If the skinks go down, I think Nihide and Uffle wins. I think it's just that simple tonight. Uh, the fan factor advantage is going to go to uh, Nihide and Uffle. I will not remember that name. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, the fan factor advantage is currently going to Nihide and Uffle. They have nine fan factor versus seven. You can see PPFC has 90k in the treasury. Uh, Nihide and Uffle has 150k. Uh, will he spend it? I don't know. I I'd probably pick up a wizard. We'll see what he wants to do with his 150k. Otherwise, uh, PPFC is getting 50k in petty cash. He has 90k in the treasury as well. That's going to give him 140k to spend. I think that's it. I mean, I think it's just, just that simple. So uh, a plus two advantage on the fan factor. We'll see if that converts into a fame advantage for Nihide and Nuffle tonight. We'll head on over to Cabal TV. We'll see if the two coaches are ready to go. It looks like they are. <laughs> All right, so not ready just yet. Life he says they can absolutely run skinks in the backfield by themselves, I'm sure. Bye 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 <laughs> skinks. SP Weaver says if you stop the run and stop the pass, you have a good chance of winning. That's right, if you stop. <laughs> <laughs> if you prevent your, your opponent from scoring, you got a real good shot. <laughs> Not so trusty patches. Blodge with sidestep is so tough to defend against. It It's pretty nasty. It's a pretty nasty combination. Um, you'll see that. You saw that on the uh, War Dancers this, this year. Uh, it... It's it's rough. It's really rough. Hank the Ranger says, "Sure would be a shame if there was not if there was a weather event this game. <laughs> maybe maybe a little heat, maybe a little winter time sweltering heat, perhaps." All right, both coaches currently are in Discord. Still waiting for the game to get underway. Um, two very resilient, very bashy teams. Again, PPFC does have that strength advantage. All those Sarses have a strength of four. It's going to be easier to get those two die blocks off. But man, those those dwarves are really, really resilient with that AV of nine. It's very difficult. There's a huge difference between AV seven and AV nine. You have to think about it on a die on a 2D6. How many different ways are there to roll a seven versus how many different ways are there to roll a nine? So on a seven, it's every way to roll a 7, every way to roll an 8, every way to roll a 9, 10, 11, and 12 that can break armor. Versus with a 9, it's every way to roll 9 and up. Um, there's lots of ways to roll a 7, right? So the odds, it's not scalar. It's not like, oh, it's just 2 less. It's a lot less. So the difference between AV7 and AV9 is, is very, very big. And um, AV9 is, is pretty tough. It's a pretty tough nut, nut to crack. If PPFC can get the player advantage, that would be great. I mean, if either team can get a player advantage, that would be great. Um, but PPFC doesn't really have the tools to get through that armor. They, um, they don't have 
uh, access to mutations. They don't have claw. Uh, they do have a couple of players with mighty blow, and they do have that strength advantage of strength of four. But it's going to be a grind. It's going to be um, just a really brutal match tonight, and both teams are going to have to open up holes on offense and take advantage of the holes. I think for the Chaos Dwarves, unless the ball is in the hands of a Bull Centaur, um, that's still a really slow plotting running game where I think for PPFC, their advantage is they can explode through a hole. They can open up the, that hole, explode through it, and take advantage of it very quickly. Um, I don't... I can't speak for either coach, but I don't think... Uh, I don't think we're going to see Clypheus really sending a Bull Centaur by his lonesome down pitch, down through a hole in this game because he's up against a lizard team, right? The, the Sarses all have a strength of four. The Crocs has a strength of five. He doesn't have that strength advantage that he might have against an Elven team or a Skaven team or an Underworld team. So it looks like the coaches still, still aren't ready. I'm gonna go through my ritual here of just sort of clicking back out and back in. <laughs> We'll see what happens. <laughs> Still waiting for the game to set up or to begin, rather. Both coaches are probably. Probably considering what to do in the inducement phase, I, I have to imagine there might be some discussion about rules. And and how that's right. <laughs> Spoken like a true engineer. If it doesn't work, close it and reopen it. <laughs> if if it doesn't, if it's not doing something, I just like to rule out that it's not me. <laughs> um, but I imagine there might be some discussion. Uh, oh, Clive says we're going. There might be just some discussion on how the inducement phase works here um, in Blood Bowl Two specifically. Oh, it looks like the game's ready to go. We'll see if anybody picked up any inducements. I imagine there'll be at least one. We'll see if there's more than that. Final game of the season. What a season it's been. Looks like PPFC will start the game on defense. And indeed, Nihad Nuff will pick up the plus one fame advantage in this game. PPFC picked up a babe, and that is it. So that's the one inducement. He spent his 50k to pick up a babe that's going to help with his skinks. Bloodweiser babes add a plus one to your knockout roll at the beginning of every drive. Your knocked out players all get to roll to see if they come back onto the pitch. It's normally a 50-50 roll. Each Bloodweiser babe you have up to a maximum of three can uh, make that, can add one to that roll, making it one-sixth easier. PPFC. Clear skies for this championship game, at least currently, before the first drive has begun. Three player line, two Sarses and a Crocs. Spreading out the rest of his team just a little bit. He has one Sarus in either wide zone currently. One's way out toward the sideline, one's pretty shallow. 20 seconds left to set this defense up. SP Viewer says if you have three babes, you automatically get the KOs back. You do not. Ones always fail. Oh, did I say maximum of three? I think it's actually a maximum of two. But a one always fails. There's the defense. So he's 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 a little lopsided here. We'll see uh, what the reason for that is in a bit. Looks like he wants to uh, suggest that Nihai Nuffle goes in a particular direction. He's got the high agility skink number nine, Avril Levine, over on the right side of the pitch. He spaced out a little bit on the left side of the pitch. And now Nihai Nuffle to set up their offense. Traditionally, this year, this season, they have gone with a very strong offensive line here, leveraging all that guard all that block and just moving that line down pitch. We've seen Clypheus time and again uh, target a particular player, not really um, players of interest so much as just picking off a player and then eking him off of the drive, eking, you know, pushing him away from the rest of the defensive line and, and making him completely ineffective. Uh, and we've seen Nihad enough will be very effective at doing that. Uh, so we'll see if, if El Nubarino is cognizant 
of that, if he's worried about that, and if Nihai Enough is going to play the same, or if he has uh, some new tricks up his sleeve here for this lizard, this lizard matchup. These these lizard teams this year have been pretty devastating. We saw both of them make it here to the Blood Bowl. Uh, I don't think that was unexpected. And he had enough of made it to the Blood Bowl as well. Uh, also not unexpected. Um, but man, these lizard teams can be really, really rough. One of the best races in the game, in my opinion. Here's the kick to start this game. Cheery fans, Nihide and Uffle is going to make use of that fame. They get an extra reroll, but it will be a touchback. Neither team has a kicker. Nihide and Uffle's not going to have to roll to pick this ball up. It's going to go in the hands of John Ramita Jr., the number eight hobgoblin. Turn one now. Nihide and Uffle on offense. They have got a line to block down. Remember, the Minotaur is a wild animal. If he's not blocking or blitzing, then there's a 50-50 chance he doesn't take his turn. Bull Centaur to start off. Double Skulls on the opening blitz. Spends that free reroll immediately. Only gets a push. Here's that sidestep at work. <laughs> SP Beaver says, if you if you get a free catch, you have to, have to give it to the Minotaur. <laughs> Christina Aguilera, the injured skink. You can see Nihide and Nuffle trying to take a player off the pitch immediately. She only has an AV of six. She has somehow stayed alive for many, many games. She is a sneaky get as well. Uh, she's a fouler. She won't get called off the pitch if the foul fails, even if she rolls doubles. Two die block on the line gets another push. Third block on the line, this time against Bjork the Crocs. Finally get the first knockdown of the game. <laughs> Not so trusty patches says. Free reroll always goes in the first turn. <laughs> Perhaps so. Ball's going to move up to Nihide and Nuffle's own four-yard line. Deciding to get his free movements in first after he's taken some blocks. Still has one block to take. He's going to set up this cage first. Man, a skink with Wrestle. Can a skink pick up Wrestle? I can't remember what skills Skinks have available to them. Three die block on the line, gets the pal. This is against Madonna, gonna break armor. It's a KO, Madonna, see you later. One man player advantage for knee high to Nuffle. I don't know if, I don't know if Skinks have access to wrestle. If they do, um, It'd be pretty great, I think, to mark these dwarves. Use your stunty and dodge to get in here and then just try to try to pluck this ball away. 30 seconds remaining in turn number one of this championship game, the final game of the season. Lyphius, with just 10 seconds remaining, decides he's not going to cover this final corner of the cage. I don't think he needs to. He's going to exert some tackle zones over here instead. This might be it. Yes, turn one now for the Pips Pippi Fan Club. Their first turn in this championship game. They're going to stand up their Crocs. It's a free move. Free is in. It doesn't cost a... Doesn't cost a die roll. Doesn't risk a turnover. Second attack is going to be a two die blitz against uninsurable. It's going to be a dodge push. Gets the dodge push, doesn't follow up. He doesn't want Lisa Loeb to get locked down with that AG of one. Still has some movement left with Lisa Loeb. It's going to move her right back toward the ball. 
Shirley Manson sets up in a column behind Lisa Loeb. Takes a mark for another two die here against Uninsurable. Gets the push. He's going to set up for the surf. Does he follow up? He wants that surf, he will. Yes, indeed. Christina Aguilera now behind Lisa Loeb. Takes a two-die block at the line. He's going to get a knockdown here against Batchful. He's looking for a 10-plus. Doesn't get it. He has a contingent of four players over here to decide what to do with. Sprint is art. Sprint. <laughs> Blitz has already been spent. That would be my sprint action. I get one, I get one sprint a game. <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> Sends the two right side skinks down pitch a little bit. Wants to keep them a little safe while still playing defense. Oh, he's going to send a bunch of players down pitch. All right. Pulling, pulling all four of those players back. That might be the turn for him. In fact, I think it is the turn for him. Turn two now for Nehide and Nuffle. They stand up bashful and move him right back to the line. Blitz! Blitz! Takes the two die on Shirley Manson, gets the knockdown, do the block skill. Gets a KO. Well done. Two-man player advantage now for knee-high to Nuffle. There's the hunt, the, the hunt skinking. <laughs> the skink hunting. Man, <laughs> I am tongue-tied today. <laughs> There's that, that skink hunting at play. Now he gets the, the block back to get off the line of scrimmage to protect the bull centaur. Trying to set up a two die to try to block down this line here. Is the second bull centaur over? He's trying to. I <laughs> failed the Dauntless roll, doesn't matter here. Trying to get the two-die on Alanis Morissette. He's got to get the knockdown. <laughs> Follows up. Now has that two-die on the Croc, so save that for last. Moves the ball across the line of scrimmage now on PPFC's own two-yard line. Just shy of the left wide zone. He wants to make sure he's moving these dwarves every single turn. They're very, very slow with an MA of four. He's got to keep them in the drive. So he wants to make sure that he actions all of them or else he risks them being left out of the drive. Two-die block gets a pow on York. Well done. That'll be it for Nehi. Turn two to PPFC. P uh, Mariah Carey now in trouble here. Two marks on Mariah Carey. She has an AG of one. She can't dodge. I mean, she could try, but uh, <laughs> she can't really, can't really dodge with that AG of one.
PBFC. Interestingly, interestingly enough, he's keeping these Saruses back. I guess they're trying to protect the Skinks. Um, I would imagine he he would have wanted them in the drive and just making use of that strength and going in and, and bashing, bashing, bashing. Under a minute to play for PPSC. Really no action other than standing the Crocs up. Deciding what he wants to do. He might be trying to might be trying to find a way to get this this bull centaur off the pitch. Um, and if so, what he needs to commit to do it. it. Looks like he's going to do just that. He's got an assist with one of the skinks. Takes the one die with Mariah Carey. Pushes off to the side, he follows up. And now the blitz. He's gonna try to surf. Surf this bull centaur. Here it is. Gets the skull. He'll have to re-roll that. Gets the push. He's gonna surf. Uninsurable. Well done. Well done. Spent a lot of time setting that surf up, but he got it there. Had to spend a re-roll. See if it pays off. We'll see if it pays off. One man player advantage now for Nehide and Uffle. One of their key players off the pitch, one of the two bull centaurs. Ten seconds left for PPFC. Blitz has been spent. He has uh, roughly three players to action. He actioned one of them. Not roughly, literally. Two players left to action. Four seconds remains. Wants to be careful that Avril Levine doesn't get blocked. He gets it in just in time. She's going to play safety. Turn three. Back to Nehide and Nuffle now. They have the ball on PPFC's two-yard line. Two-die block against Alanis Morissette. The number seven, uh, Saris, at the line. Gets a push. Follows up with Boulder Dash. The level three Bull Centaur remaining on the pitch. PPFC lost one of those skinks, but good job having uh, Saruses between the offense and the remaining skinks here. You can see they're all behind the defensive line. Nobody's out for good. Three KOs so far. Remember, PBFC has the babe as well. They're going to get a plus one. It's a three plus to come back from a KO rather than Nihai's four plus. Two die block gets the pow here against Lisa Loeb. No hole to run through. But the blitz has not been spent yet. 52 seconds remain for Nihai. comes that blitz. Two die blitz. Gets a pow against Jewel, the number five Saris. He's gonna push her straight back. He's gonna follow up. Still no hold. He advances the ball one space. He's gonna cover the right corner of the cage here. He's got a block to take on the Crocs. Here it comes. Gets the pal. This is going to free up number six, Briar Rose. Minotaur must follow up due to the Frenzy skill. He's going to try to control this lane here. He moves Briar Rose down the, um, down the gap he opened up. He's going to try to exert some tackle zones here and try to open this hole a little bit wider on the next turn. Oh no, turn three for PBFC, but Bjork is going to fail her boneheaded roll. Fails on a one, she's going to stay prone. Uh, 
she's on the ground, so she's not exerting any tackle zones. But even if she were standing, if she were to foul that, she would exert no tackle zones and would continue to exert no tackle zones until she passes the roll in the later turn. Moreover, she's going to lose the rest of her turn there. Definitely don't want to spend a reroll on that as uh, she's a loner. A potentially big loss for PPFC here. Two die block. Briar Rose against Jewel. He can get a push or both standing result. Probably wants the push. There it is. Shifts Lisa Loeb. She's in the left wide zone. Shifts her back towards center pitch. He still remains in the left wide zone. He's trying to cover these gaps. He's trying to make sure that Nehide and Uffle can't get anywhere if he wants to press forward on his current tra uh, tra trajectory. Whew. Britney Spears, after being freed up, she's going to take a step back. Shifts Gwen Stefani over to get in front of the ball carrier. Has to be careful about keeping the right side of the pitch wide open. Decides to take the one die against Robin Roundcap. But it's going to be a both standing result. Will he dodge away Christina Aguilera? I imagine he will. Nails the dodge, though. Oh, is she going to survive? Doesn't spend the reroll, and she stays on the pitch. Turn four for Nehide and Uffle now. Right side of the pitch wide open. Two die block against Mariah Carey. That'll be a push result. Doesn't follow up. Pushes Mariah Carey to the sideline, but doesn't follow up. SP Beer says I would have followed and surfed. Yeah, he could he could set that surf up fairly easily if he wanted it. I mean he can still do it if he if he really wants to. He'd just have to spend his blitz on it. He doesn't have to spend his blitz on it. I mean he could put a player here and do it this way. But nope, he's gonna spend his blitz on it. Here it is, two die. Gets the push and the knockdown, well done. Surf for a surf. Spends his last movement there to mark Lisa Loeb, the number two Saris. So I think it's a two man player advantage currently. Let's see, one, two. One man player advantage? Wow, really? All right, one man player advantage knee high and awful. I thought for sure that was a two man player advantage. Two die block with Hysteria and the big guy gets a push. Frenzy follow up for the three die. It's going to get another push out of this. Pushes Alanis Morissette to a little bit of safety here. I mean, she's certainly not safe, but uh, gets her out of this scrum here. Another push is going to push her out of this one. Just can't knock her down. But you can see Clyfe is here trying to move these players, trying to knock them down, trying to get them out of position.
Bob and round cap is going to move move to the front right of the ball carrier. 20 seconds left. We'll see if Nihai makes a break for it. Looks like he's not going to. He's going to cage up on the six yard line. Final turn of the first quarter now. PPFC on defense. <laughs> SB Beaver said hand off to the centaur and score. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Hank the Ranger said fireball. <laughs> Sweltering heat. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no movement in 40 seconds. Finally, two die block here against uh, Gwen. I'm sorry. Against Bashful by Gwen Stefani. It's gonna get the knockdown. Really wants that 10 plus. Follows up. Two die block against Lisa. Ah, uh, man, against Gazuntite, the number nine Chaos Dwarf blocker. It's a knockdown. Now he's gonna get a chain push here. A chain push to push Gwen Stefani to mark the ball carrier. Well done. It's still available under a minute in the first quarter. Thirty-five seconds to play. Two team re-rolls remaining for PPFC. Three for Nihai and Nuffle. They got a free one to start this game off, and they spent it just as soon as they earned it. <laughs> Fifteen seconds remain for PPFC. Here comes the blitz. Good dodge blitz. He's going to take the uphill block. On the ball carrier, wow! He's gonna get a push out of it. Holy moly! Took an uphill block, took a YOLO block on the ball carrier. He's gonna get a push. Britney Spears in a lot of trouble. He's relying on the blodge and the sidestep here to keep her safe. Two good dodges to get out of harm's way. Wow. Wow. Turn five, second quarter begins. Gutsy play. Gutsy play by BPFC. Two die block against Alanis Morissette. It's going to be a knockdown. Two dodges to an uphill. Two more dodges. Three die block against Britney Spears. She's not going to use. Her, she's not going to be able to use her dodge skill due to tackle. But she's going to stay on the pitch. Good use of tackle by Nia and Nuffle. If I were knee high, I I might foul her. Like I I might go for it and foul her. Let's we'll see what he decides to do. He's moving jubilant jubilant away, so looks like he might not try to foul her. I wouldn't foul her just yet. I do the rest of my actions and then go for it, but.
Not so trusty patch says I already forgot about tackle. Yeah, can't forget about tackle. Tackle negates the dodge skill. Forty-four seconds remaining in this first turn of the second quarter. Nehide and Nuffles spent their blitz already. Tried to take uh tried to take Britney Spears out of this game, didn't work out. Two die block now. This time against Gwen Stefani is gonna be a knockdown. Pretty solid game for both coaches currently. Pretty solid offense by Nehide and Nuffle. Pretty solid uh, defense by PPFC. PPFC's defense is is getting a little a little disjointed, um, but they've been doing a great job of trying to maintain it on their turns. We saw that an excellent chain block to get his uh, get his Saris back into position and to mark the ball carrier. Ball moves forward to the eight yard line now in this in this super cage. Two die block on the right side of the cage is going to be a knockdown. Oh my goodness, breaks the armor on Bjork and Bjork is injured. Oh, will the oppo be spent here? The oppo is spent. That's going to keep Bjork in the game. Wow. Wow, broke the uh, armor on the Crocs. That's a 10 plus. Got an injury. If the Apothecary wasn't spent, then the Crocs would be out for the game. No more Apothecary for PPFC. Turn five for them. Two man player advantage for Nehi? Let's see. Why don't I just count it on the pitch? Why am I going over here? Four, five, six, seven versus uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, two man player advantage, nine v seven. Two die block. Gonna knock down Jules gonna knock down Bashful here. Gets a chain push out of this. Probably follows up, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. Yeah, he stays put. Doesn't break armor. Ashy bashy game. Ashy game. As we expected. PPFC deciding what to do here. Still has a blitz. Their defense is, is getting a little shaken here. They're getting a little disjointed. It's going to make it difficult to shut down lanes unless he can somehow get it back together. Here comes the blitz. Takes another uphill on the ball carrier. It's going to be another push result. Wow. 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 Gets a chain push out of this. Pushes the ball carrier forward to the 10 yard line. Doesn't follow up. Absolutely not. Dodges away Britney Spears. AG of three with Stunty. That makes her dodge a three plus. 67%, 66 and two thirds percent. Five seconds ago, Blitz has been spent. He's going to keep harassing with Britney Spears. Man, so scary. Turn six now for Nehi to Nuffle. He's trying to dislodge this ball. But if he can stop the run, then 
I think that would be fine too. He is running out of players though. Two die block. Knocks down a Lannis Moore set. Stands up bashful, moves him forward to get the assist on Lisa Loeb. Currently a one die going back on Lisa Loeb unless the Dauntless roll succeeds. This will make it a two die no matter what. Here it comes. Two die block. Gets the knockdown. Blitz. Skink hunting gets the push on Christina Aguilera. Man, I might have I might have re-rolled that. <laughs> I might have re-rolled that. <laughs> gets the push, he'll follow up. One minute to play in turn six. Three turns left for Nehide and Uppel on offense here to try to score. They're going to move the remaining Bull Centaur forward. They're going to get a mark on Christina Aguilera. One die block on Jules. Going to get the knockdown and follows up as well. Now remember, uh, Christina Aguilera, while she is a skink, Oblivious here has tackle. And that's going to that's gonna negate her dodge skill. Two die block gets the push on Gwen Stefani. He wants to make sure he's going to get those assists with John Romita wherever he moves this ball. Uh, Elmer Barino has made it clear that he is going to harass this ball carrier with Britney Spears. Yes, indeed. He's going to move him. Move him along. He's going to move him to the 14 yard line. Two die block gets double skulls here. Spends the reroll. Gets the push. Wow. Wow. Can you believe this? And he breaks armor. I. I can't. I can't. The minutes are rolled double skulls. He re-rolled it past the loner roll. Got the frenzy follow-up. Knocked out Gwen Stefani. Man. Knee high to Nuffle. Does exactly what their team name says. Well done. Turn six now for PPFC. Three man player advantage for Nehide and Uffle. Defense, defense at risk here. With only six players left on the pitch. Oh, that's a four man player advantage. Good Lord. 10 V six on the pitch. Just three Sarses out of six remain on the pitch. They are all prone. They are all marked. So they're going nowhere unless somebody blitzes. Stands up Alanis Morissette. So there's doesn't look like he's going to blitz Cantankerous. He still could. But it doesn't look like he will. Stands up Lisa Loeb. Ten seconds remain for PPFC here in turn six. 
Stands up the final remaining Saurus, Jewel, the number five Saurus at mid pitch. Here comes the Blitz. Here comes the Blitz. Um, this time a three die uphill. Might as well re roll it. If you're going to go for it, you might as well re roll it. Three skulls here. No, doesn't re roll it. Wow. Gets a turnover. Wow. Man, oh man. Turns out for knee high enough. I would just scoot it into the end zone. Well, no, I, I would stall. Three die block against Christina Aguilera. Three die block. Great armor. Christina Aguilera finally injured. The Oppo can't save her here. She is out for the game. She had a good run. Five man player advantage for Nehi to Nuffle. Another skink's going to eat a block here. I have to imagine that won't happen first. So get his. He'll get his offense set up. Yes, indeed. He's going to stall on the 24 yard line. Moves the Hobgoblin over to prevent the uh, the YOLO uphill block by Britney Spears. It'd be a GFI dodge uphill, but Aldo Verino has proven he's willing to do that. Yeah, that 6 AV lasted a long, long time. Takes a bunch of marks over in the left wide zone. I imagine he wants to take this block against Avril Levine now. Nope, he'll take the two die against Lisa Loeb. Gets a pow. Follows up. Two die against Alanis Morissette coming up. Gets another pal. Wow. Another armor break. Another KO. Is that a six man player advantage? Do I see a six man player advantage? <laughs> One, two. Four players left on the pitch for PPFC. Here comes the Blitz. Taking the Blitz on Jules. Gonna get the knockdown. Another armor break. Another injury. Oh my goodness. Jewel out for the game. Three players left on the pitch for PPFC. Can Nihai make it two? Three die block. Three die block. Oh, <laughs> I would have taken both down. <laughs> Gets a sidestep on Avril Levine. Needed that pal. As Peter said, re-roll that. I mean, yeah, he's got to re-roll even if it. If, uh, I'm so tongue-tied today. Even if you lose it on loner, so what? Um, but yeah. Three players left on the pitch for PPFC now. Ten v three, seven man player advantage for PPFC. SP Beaver triggered the GFI warning. Be careful. <laughs> Is he gonna YOLO Britney Spears? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! GFI uphill dodge, he's gonna push and get the surf! Oh, oh boy! Will the crowd be merciful? Oh, no! <laughs> the crowd will not be merciful. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Blood Bowl, baby! 
<laughs> oh man! <laughs> Went in for the triple uphill block, gets the push. That's all he needed for the surf. He was hoping that ball would scatter anywhere but where it was. <laughs> and, and no, <laughs> another dodge puts him in the corner. Oh boy. He says, if you want if you want this ball, <laughs> then you better hope it doesn't go out of bounds. <laughs> Avril Levine. Wow, making good use of that AG4. You can see those dodges were two plus. They already fell on a one. 30 seconds ago here in turn seven. <laughs> a good dodge by Britney Spears. <laughs> oh man. Turn eight, final turn of the first half. Me hiding up is gonna have to blitz this ball. They probably want to do it first, see where the ball goes. <laughs> They've only got one real player who can who could do something with it and just hope this ball stays on the pitch. Uh, or if not, it gets thrown in somewhere where Robin Roundcap can pick it up and score. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here's the blitz. Three die blitz. Push is fine. Oh, no, Powell's fine. Both down would have been great. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't matter. Both down's still a problem for him. He wants the ball. Um, Avril Levine KO'd. Ball's gonna s <laughs> Ball scatters into the hands of the Chaos Dwarf, jubilant. <laughs> and he's gonna score. <laughs> 1 0, knee high to double. Oh boy, we'll see who comes back on the pitch. Three Sauruses. Come back on the pitch for me for a BPFC. <laughs> oh man, BPFC is gonna get another use of their babe here coming up. They have one turn unless there's a riot. Oh, boy. what a first drive! <laughs> Behind an apple, leaving two rerolls on the table. <laughs> unless again there's a riot. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. <laughs> Knee high and Uffle setting up with a pretty standard defense here. Doesn't really need to set up like an elf would. Doesn't really need to set up on the end zone um, to ensure he saves players. He can still play some proper D in case there's a riot. Uh, he's got the AV for it. Hey there, New Girl Plus, and seriously, I'm a giraffe! <laughs> hey, no worries. Thank you. Uh, thank you for checking out the stream. Welcome. <laughs> well, that's all that matters, uh, Holman SA. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for coming out. It's our championship game here in the league. <laughs> it's 1 0 after, a <laughs> after an amazing <laughs> first drive. <laughs> Uh, Pips Pippi Fan Club, PPFC. Oh, New Girl Plus, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Not so trusty Patches says Giraffe is a great player. Oh, well, welcome. Uh, I, I, uh, I look forward to your insight in the game. I love this game. How amazing are we talking about? I think there was a seven man player advantage. <laughs> and then, and then uh, a skink, uh, a skink got murdered and the ball just kind of fell into the hands of a dwarf who scored. <laughs> 55 seconds to set up here now for PPFC.
They're hoping for a riot at this point. <laughs> They're just hoping Nuffle, Nuffle will be kind at this point. They've got three skinks back on the pitch. They'll get another shot out of their babes here after turn eight. Nine v eleven on the pitch. Two man player advantage for Nehide and Nuffle. Here's the kick. Boy, that's that fame at work yet again. Nehide and Nuffle's gonna end up with a third reroll they can't use. Three on the table. Turn eight for PPFC. They cannot score. Victor, my boy, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. A minute forty left in the first half here of this championship game. PPFC with one reroll. All that's left to do is uh, put some hurt on. No point in gaining SPP at this point. Final game of the season. They're going to try to blitz and take out. Uninsurable. They're going to get the knockdown. They're looking for a 10 plus here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uninsurable has dodge. It's going to be a dodge push. Some blocks to take at the line, and that'll call it a half. Two die block on the left side of the line. He'll get a put, or he'll get a knockdown rather on Cantankerous, the number seven cast dwarf blocker. Looking to break armor here. He's just looking for some some murder. Gets a pal. Looking for that ten. Ten plus. Let's go. Gets it. Breaks armor. Only gets a stun out of it. Takes the three die with the Crocs, gets another pal here. This will be the final block of the half. He'll break armor here, only gets a stun. Will he try to foul? I can't imagine he will. I can't imagine he will. Honestly, I would have gone after uh, one of these hobgoblins, I think. I would have tried to, tried to take somebody who's easy to take off the pitch. Oh, is he going to foul? Is he going to foul? Where's the sneaky get? Oh, Christina Aguilera, she's off the pitch. She was injured. She lost an eye. SP Beaver asks, does he have dirty player? He does not. Just going to go with. Why is that a loner? Did he pick up a. Did he pick up a Merc? It looks like he did. That's the half one to zero. PPFC will be on offense here in the second half. Nehide and Nuffle currently in the lead. We'll get back one skink. There's only one knockout player remaining in the box. Not too shabby here to start the second half. PPFC is going to get a second shot up here on offense. This is their first real shot at offense. Not so trusty patch says great half. It was a great half. One to zero, Hank the Ranger almost certainly hoping, praying to Nuffle for some sweltering heat and an early TD. <laughs> SP Beer said for all the KOs he had, he got most of them back. Yes, indeed, that that uh, Bloodweiser Babe gives him a plus one, making that 50-50 a 67%. Four plus a three plus. So I think this puts him at 10, right? Yeah, it's 10. So it's 11 v 10 on the pitch. And he had an with a one-man player advantage. And he had an uphill doing a great job hunting those skinks in the first drive of the game. But now, four are back on the pitch. The one knocked out Bull Centaur has made a return uninsurable back on the pitch as well. Nehide and Uffle deciding that the Minotaur is not going to be playing line duties here on defense to start the second half. <laughs> That's very true. SB Beaver says, correction, one man and one Nuffle advantage. Very true. Nehide and Uffle has been praying very hard to Nuffle. <laughs> and it's, it's been paying dividends. <laughs> PPFC to set up their offense now. Remember, this is a, a finals matchup. This cannot end in a draw. If the game ends in a draw, we will go to overtime. It's another 
Uh, another eight turns, like you're starting a new half. It'll start with a coin toss. You set up exactly the same way you'd set up a, um, a normal new game, except nobody who's been knocked out or, or injured or whoever. They all stay off the pitch, uh, but crucially, you don't get back your team rerolls. Seriously, I'm a giraffe asks, what's the league? It is the Mid-Atlantic Mauling League. Neural Plus says, Nuffle, my cat got neutered today. He's kind of high and in a very good mood. <laughs> I imagine he's in a good mood for now, but I'm glad he's uh, glad he's okay. And <laughs> great name, too. <laughs> I imagine once the uh, drugs wear off, he'll be, he'll be feeling a little sore. <laughs> right? I think a cat named Nuffle is perfect. <laughs> It's like, will he purr and sit in my lap today, or will he just knock my glass of iced tea off the table? Who can say? <laughs> Eight seconds in. That's it. That's the offense. Strong on the right side now. He has two back to receive. Neither team with a kicker. Here's the kick. PPFC gets one space to move. Eight turns out for PPFC to try to tie this ball game up. They have a decision to make. They probably, boy, boy, what do you do? I think at this point I'd probably play, I'd probably play for the draw and hope for the coin toss is what I would probably do. Yeah, just standard overtime rules, which uh, unfortunately Go to kicks. We'll probably change that next season. But uh, if it's tied after OT, then it uh, it'll go to kicks. Boo. <laughs> Moves three lizards across the line of scrimmage over on the right side. Three Sarses, rather. Moves Bjork the Crocs. She'll move one space to the right. Shifting this whole offense to the right side. Betraying where he wants to move this ball. The ball's going to scatter in the opposite direction. Turn nine now for PPFC. Well, normal normal weekly play can have draws. The, the, um, the finals brackets of each competition can't, can't end in a draw. <laughs> New girl plus says, <laughs> I feel like lizards should not win mammal. I agree. <laughs> it would be incorrect, number one, and rude. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're a mammal. Let's go. Get in there. <laughs> Ball picked up by Britney Spears. She's on her own four yard line over in the right wide zone. A little over one minute to play here. Blitz still on the table. Three rerolls for PPFC, three for Nehi to Nuffle. Nuffle not as kind on the rerolls to Nehi this, this drive. Two die block against Briar Rose in the right wide zone. It's gonna get the knockdown. Looks like he's going to commit early to the right wide zone here. We'll see if he can convert this into movement. Needs to be careful that Nehi does not collapse the defense down on him and cut off the whole rest of the pitch. Two die blitz on Boulder Dash by Gwen Stefani. Gets the pow. Can he get the armor break? Gets a push. 
Doesn't follow up. Doesn't want to follow up with that AG of one. Moves Gwen Stefani down pitch. Trying to secure this right wide zone here. Needs to be a little careful of uh, leaving the ball carrier exposed. Two die block of the line gets a push. All that guard. Why are my overlays off? There we go. All that guard gets the push. Ten seconds. Not so trusty patch. It says so risky to push ahead so soon. I know. I know. Well, I mean, we just saw him go for <laughs> three uphill blocks in a row. Four, maybe? <laughs> Two high block gets another push here. Trying to push these chorfs away. There's the ball. Ball's going to cross the line of scrimmage. Is now on knee high six yard line over in the right wide zone. He is committed. He is committed to the right wide zone. Will Nehi shut down his lateral movement here? Turn nine for Nehi to Nuffle. They're going to get started here in the second half. The risk here, the risk of, of committing to the right wide zone early is when you're at center pitch, your defense has to spread out and cover all options, right? Again, I always liken this to a fighting game, but... If you're at center pitch, think of think of this as the center of the screen in a fighting game. You have lots of movement options. You can move forward, left, or right. You can even move backwards if you want. Um, but when you're over in the corner, now you've lost all this movement option. So now not only can you not move right, the defense doesn't have to defend any of this. There's nothing to defend here. So uh, they can defend the front of the cage, but now they can also start collapsing down the side of the cage as well. New Girl Plus says, off to dinner with me. I'll see you around sometime. Thank you for coming to the stream. I appreciate it. Enjoy your dinner. Under a minute to go for Nehi to Nuffles. Still have their blitz, deciding what they want to do, where they want to be. Oh, man, I didn't even put that together. NG plus, new game plus. Man, clever. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> 30 seconds for knee high. PPFC often eating up their time, uh, their game clock here. Knee high to Nuffle. Typically, uh, typically moving a little quicker, but... In this turn, they, they really want to think about what they're going to do here. They're taking marks on the right side of this protective cage. On the left side of the cage, rather. And you can see he's trying to collapse this defense down, taking lots of marks. Nobody on this loser team can really move. Everybody has an AG of one except for the Skinks. The skinks have an AG of three. They're also stunty and they have the dodge skill. Three seconds left for Nehi to Nuffle. They're going to try to get a blitz with Asterion out here. Here it comes. Takes the two die blitz against Gwen Stefani. He's going to get the push. Frenzy follow up. Gets another push. I think PPFC might be okay with that. We'll see. Turn 10 now for PPFC. Committing so early to the right wide zone. Boy. Boy. <laughs> it's going to be... It's going to be some work. It also puts him at risk. Let's say he does break through. He's going to... He can't stall for too long. He might not be able to stall at all. It's going to get him a lot of turns back to knee high to try to win this game 2-1. to one. Man, just not afraid to have his skinks in harm's way. Oh, boy. <laughs> man, oh, man. Precarious is is quite the word. Yes, it is precarious. SP Beaver says, hand off, head off to the back skink and run to the other side. He has the movement advantage. Um, 
The problem is he can't get away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, he'd definitely eat a GFI Blitz here. <laughs> he has shown he can dodge. He's been dodging for days. Thirty-nine seconds left in turn ten for PPFC. They're deciding where they want to go. They're going to go all in on the right side here. They move in to get the assist to take the one die against Robin Roundcap. They'll get the push. They'll follow up. I think we're going to see Britney Spears take off. Here we go. Well done by PPFC. Opens up the hole. Two turn touchdown here for this Lizard team. The game is tied one to one. But now Nehide and Uffle has all the time in the world to try to win this game two to one. We'll see if it works out. Still doesn't get out that knocked out skink back onto the pitch. It's going to be 11 v 10 still. <laughs> SPB says, I guess, I guess instead of running it back, you could always just score. Maybe that's scoring is why I didn't make the cut. <laughs> not scoring. <laughs> it's always it always comes down to not scoring enough, right? <laughs> Impressive two turn touchdown for PPFC, but now Nehide and Uppel has a full seven turns, almost an entire half, to try to win this game. One man player advantage for Nehide to Nuffle, eleven v ten on the pitch. PPFC setting up for defense. Three-man defensive line. The Crocs in center. She's the center defensive tackle. Two Sarses on either side. We see Madonna over on the right side and Alanis Morissette over on the left side. All four skinks in the secondary here. <laughs> four safeties. <laughs> Two Sarses in the backfield as well. One Sars over in the uh, outer linebacker, maybe a cornerback position here. Mariah Carey, the number three Sars over in the left wide zone. No, wow. Holy moly. What is what is going on? All right. Three man defensive line. Seven players deep for PPFC. And he had enough to set up their offense here. They don't need to go super heavy on the line. They might do it anyway. If they if the plan is to just march forward, then that would be totally fine. PPFC without a kicker and he had enough to get away with one kickoff return player. If they want, they're going to just leave their offensive line the way it is. Here comes the kick. Wow, that is the third cheering fans roll for PPFC turn 10 for Nehi to Nuffle. Two die block of the line gets a pal. Nehi to Nuffle up to four team rerolls. Spoke too soon at the beginning of the first drive. Breaks armor, gets a stun. Mighty Blow, remember, gives you a plus one on your uh, armor roll or your injury roll, whichever one you need it on. So if you don't break armor, you get the plus one on the armor roll. Otherwise, you'll get it on the injury roll. Two die block. This is with Briar Rose, gets the knockdown on Bjork. Final two die block of the line coming up. Takes a mark behind Madonna, the number six Sars, the right defensive tackle for PPFC. <laughs> yeah, and this is what we talked about in the pregame, right? This is Nehi and Nuffle trying to pick this defensive line off. They're trying to get their players between the defensive line and the end zone. This will try to pull the the uh, defensive line out of position here. He gets the two die block on Madonna. Frenzy follow up breaks armor. Madonna once again knocked out. Well done. Claw treats everybody as if they have an AV of seven. 
Two-man player advantage for Nihai to Nuffle now. Now for the ball pickup. Well done with sure hands. Get a free reroll on the pickup. You can see he failed the first pickup, got the free reroll. Worked out the second time. Advances to his own four-yard line. Robin Roundcap will level up before the season is over. <laughs> that is no way to treat Lady Madonna. <laughs> that strength four chaos dwarf blocker jubilant it's gonna advance down pitch crosses the line of scrimmage sets up a cage in front of the ball carrier uninsurable will move down pitch as well and moves boulder dash over the right side of the offensive line to cover the ball carrier. That'll be it. Turn 11 to PPFC. PPFC giving up a lot of yardage here with this defensive formation. Defensive line blocked down as anticipated. Madonna was KO'd. She's taken off the pitch. Two-man player advantage for knee high to Nuffle. Seven players in the backfield just staring down this chorf offense. What are they going to do? Oh, Victor, my boy. Thank you for the follow. If I didn't say so already, I appreciate it. One minute, 12 seconds remain in turn 11 for PPFC. Deciding what they want to do here. Um, I, I don't, I don't know what their play is with this, this opening formation. They're going to start the turn with a blitz. Holy moly, two die blitz. They're going to get the knockout on Oblivious. Looks like they're going to follow up and mark the ball carrier here. Break armor, gets a stun. That's a good stun. Skinks are getting into the game. <laughs> Not so trusty patches, thank you for the bits. <laughs> 31 seconds left for PPFC to play their defense here. Going super aggressive on the ball carrier. Have to be careful. Have to be careful about, about defending the pitch, but... I mean, you saw that opening formation. He said, you know what? You want to move? Here. Here's all the grass in the world. Come at me, bro. Sends Britney Spears down the right wide zone. Man, what? All right. All right, he's got something up his sleeve. Moves Shakira, the number eight skink. Level three down the left wide zone. She's a blodger with sidestep. Very difficult to take down. Still has an AV of seven, though. Avril Lavigne. It's going to take a step back. Wow. And the two Sars is taking a step back, too. These two Sarses are just are just kind of hanging out here in the backfield. Turn 11 for Neon and Uffle. All right. <laughs> I mean, we saw him, Leroy Jenkins, in the first half. <laughs> he could do it again here. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Two-die block, Double Skulls has to spend a reroll here to knock down the, uh, the number 13 mercenary. Not a journeyman. But he picked up, uh, picked up a skink. Two die block gets a pal on Bjork. Looking for the ten plus here. Doesn't get it. Gets a chain push. Chain block, rather.
Lizard's to the left of me, Lizard's to the right. Where do you think he's going to go? He still has a lane. He can move the ball up this way. Two die block against Lisa Loeb. This will be a knockdown as well. Hide and Uffles still has their blitz deciding where they want this ball to end up. Wherever it ends up, they need to protect it. They've effectively def uh, defected, <laughs> defended it against the lizards that are here. They're knocked down. Uh, the Sarses have an MA of six. It's going to cost them three to stand up. Reed Eye block against Shakira. Going skink hunting here. Gets the pal. That's what he's looking for. An eight plus will break armor. Wow, she's going to stay on the pitch. That's exactly what Nihai does not awful has to do. We talked about that in the pregame. He's been very successful at it so far. El Nuberino leveraging that speed to get on the scoreboard early, which, uh, again, we talk about in the pregame. Uh, I would not be opposed to if it if it didn't. Put the momentum back into Nehide and Nuffle's hands. He's down a player, um, and Nehide and Nuffle now has, or at least at the time the drive started, had seven turns to try to score, so he really needs to play a solid defensive game here. SP Beaver says these skinks have better armor than Echo or Echo, Echo 2. That's because you outfitted Echo 2 in paper mache. There's a toggle for it in the UI. You missed it. Um, I should have told you that's on me. Um, but you don't want to use paper mache armor. Definitely. I just see no need for it. Fails the boneheaded roll again with Bjork. It's bound to happen. She's going to lie prone. It's a big loss for PPFC. Nihide and Uffle was able to capitalize on this in the first drive of the game. We'll see if they can do it again here. PPFC, are we going to see another YOLO uphill block? Is that going to happen? <laughs> Stands up Lisa Loeb on the left side of the ball, really. Kind of way out there. She's marked. Moves Alanis more set in. He's, he marks... The front of the cage. Oh boy, I think we might see a blitz. <laughs> I think we might see a blitz. <laughs> the two safety Sar Sarai Sarasis. They're coming into the game. Gwen Stefani moves forward towards the toward the cage, as does Mariah Carey. Thirty-three seconds remain for PPFC. Here comes the blitz. Here it comes. <laughs> oh boy! That worked out that time. <laughs> Oh, but fail the dodge. <laughs> fail the dodge. He's going to spend the reroll. He is. <laughs> Failed to pick up him. <laughs> be a turnover. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That deserves applause. 
<laughs> Thank you for the bits. SP Beaver says Brittany is really trying for that MVP. <laughs> she's <laughs> she's trying to commit suicide. <laughs> Why is she doing this? He's really rely. I mean, look, the oblige really keeps you on the pit, uh, on your feet rather. Sidestep can help with that as well. You can get out of out of multi blocks. Um, and he, he's he's trying to take advantage of it. Unfortunately, she's gonna get knocked down here. We'll see if she stays on the pitch. She's <laughs> she sidesteps onto the ball. <laughs> the ball's gonna scatter back toward <laughs> toward me. I don't know. <laughs> Not so trusty patches demands. <laughs> Leave Brittany alone. <laughs> oh, she's a hero. She is a hero. Still out here on the pitch. Christina Aguilera was out on the pitch. She played what? Four, five games? <laughs> AG6? <laughs> Under a minute in the third quarter here in knee high to Nuffle. Trying to get this ball back. They lost the ball on an uphill block. They're trying to recover it. Uh, the game is currently tied one to one. <laughs> Two die block gets the push against Mariah Carey. That's our two die blitz, rather. That's the blitz spent. Oh boy, you can't say PPFC didn't make it interesting. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> SP Beaver says, We all know what Brittany is doing next turn. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine, I imagine he's going to try the stand-up blitz here with Bjork. Oh no, he, he doesn't want to do that. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> That's an absolutely repugnant idea. <laughs> Moves in, tries to pick the ball up. Well done. Robin Roundcap's going to recover with sure hands. Turn 13, fourth quarter begins perhaps the final quarter of the season game's currently tied one to one and he had enough with three team rerolls ppfc with two remaining ppfc has spent their oppo the apothecary spent does not have it anymore he had enough still has theirs <laughs> and the sp fever says mercifully at least there isn't a four hill <laughs> a four die uphill <laughs> Not so trusty patches, thank you for the bits. That's right, just do it! Just do it! <laughs> You're gonna do it, just do it! <laughs> Two die block gets the push uh, against Cantankerous, the number seven blocker over on the right side of the cage. Avril Levine, the level four skink still just hanging out in the safety position, all the way back on four yard line. Under a minute to go in turn 13 for PPFC. Two die block against Bashful. Gets the knockdown, gets the pal. Gonna get Mighty Blow out of it if he breaks armor. Does not, if she breaks armor, rather. That was Lisa Lowe. <laughs> Stand up for a tie off hill blitz. Here we go. It's got a push. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? 
gets a push on the reroll. One reroll left for BPMC. <laughs> Not so Chelsea patches. Thank you for the bits. That's right. You're already dead. <laughs> Failed skink dodge. And Britney Spears is mercifully going to be stunned. She's not leaving the pitch. Turn 13 for knee height and knuffle now. They've got lots of choices. <laughs> They've got lots of choices. They can move down the uh, left side of the pitch. They've got a hole right here. Oh, no, they don't. They've got to knock down the... Uh, they got to block down the Crocs first, and then they do. Two die block against Bjork. It's going to get the knockdown here. Here's that hole that's opened up. Three players freed up now for knee high to Nuffle. Gets the assist against Mariah Carey, looking for the two-die block there. Looks like he's might cage up on the 10-yard line here and then block down Mariah Carey. Indeed, that's what he does. Standard four-point cage now at the uh, at the 10-yard line. Two-die block on Mariah Carey gets the push. Now remember, if this game is a tie, we'll go to a sudden death, a sudden death overtime. But if the game is still tied, it'll go to kicks, sadly. But your rerolls count in kicks. So whoever has uh, the most rerolls going into kicks has the advantage. Nihai Nuffle currently has three. Gets the frenzy block, gets the follow up. Both are pushes on Gwen Stefani. Knee had enough of breaking this really aggressive defense apart now. I I am honestly not sure what PBFC does at this point. I mean, other than another <laughs> another uphill uphill blitz. Two die block against Menace. A, a Menace? Alanis Morissette gets the pal, gets the knockdown. Here comes the Blitz. Blitz on Shakira gets a push. Spends a reroll, really trying to take Shakira off the pitch. She's going to sidestep um, forward, I imagine. Yeah, she'll sidestep toward the ball. SP Beaver, thank you for the bits. <laughs> BPFC certainly needs a hero, and I think it might be Shakira. Let's go. Turn 14. Three turns possibly remaining in the game, in the competition, in the season. Two die block gets the pow on Bashful. Has to be careful about dodging out these skinks. They're marked by Briar Rose. He has tackle. Will he try the blitz with Avril Lavigne? Two die block. It'll be a dodge push against Uninsurable. Got the one die skilled block against. The Minotaur probably doesn't want to take it just yet. Oh, man. Oh, man. Avril Lavigne leaps into the cage. <laughs> Two dial. 
<laughs> He's gonna have to re-roll it. <laughs> Gets a push. <laughs> oh, Avril Levine <laughs> thinks she's a war dancer. <laughs> All right, Robin Roundcap's gonna get pushed back a couple of yards. <laughs> Avril Levine's gonna dodge away with that massive AG of four. <laughs> EPFC with the uphill block strat. <laughs> I would love for it to work out for him. <laughs> Takes that one die skilled block over on the right side of the line. Gets the pal. Minotaur with only an eight only, but only an AV of eight. Doesn't break armor. Takes the one die against Briar Rose. It's going to be a knockdown. Oh, scary stuff. Took it with the Merc. If he's going to take it, that's the smart decision. That's it. Turn 14 now for knee height and Upple. One turn away, or one space away from scoring. They were in scoring position before they got pushed back on the blitz. Shakira knocked out. Oh. Oh, my condolences. That was, uh... The most resilient skink on the pitch. Um, there's another one. So oh, I think it's here. Yeah, Britney Spears also has blood and sidestep. <laughs> Not so Jesse Patches. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Failed the wild animal roll there, so he wasn't uh, wasn't going for the blitz. Just wanted to reposition the Minotaur. Didn't work out. So the Minotaur is going to remain prone for this turn. Here comes the Blitz on Avril Levine. Two die Blitz gets the push. Spends the reroll. It's going to be a dodge push. Oh no, it's going to be a knockdown due to tackle. Well done. Well done. Gets a stun. That's a great stun. Great stun for Nihai to Nuffle. He can absolutely capitalize on that. Absolutely. Yeah, just coast this ball down the left wide zone. Boy, what do you do as PPFC? You're out of rerolls. Your defense has been torn asunder. What, what do you do? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't know how I feel about those uphill blocks, <laughs> but they sure are fun to watch. <laughs> SP Beaver says, "Turn score, uh, turn score, uh, turn 15 score." Or do you think he dare hold him? I don't. I don't think there's any reason not to stall. Um, I don't think there's any reason not to stall. <laughs> Uphill blocks, I guess. <laughs> Who's left though? I don't think anybody's left. Just uh. Just the um, the Merc and Britney Spears, and neither of them can get to the ball carrier. Turn 15 for PPFC. Perhaps their penultimate turn this season. No rerolls remaining. Action order is going to be critical from here on out. Now they're just playing for the draw, hoping to win on the coin toss. But what do you do when all of your players are just cannot get there? Two die block. This is against Cantankerous or was it against Bashful? It's against Bashful, gets the knockdown. Frees up Lisa Loeb and <laughs> she still can't get there. She can tie up. She can tie up Robin Roundcap with two GFIs, but she can't make the blitz. You know, Nihai and Uffle might might be okay with this. Let's see. They might be okay with this. <laughs> or not Nihai, um 
I'm uh, PPFC. Oh, they're going to take the two die blitz. So they took the blitz on the protecting back carrier. They're going to mark Robin Roundcap. What more can you do? And then you've, you've got to get Britney Spears down pitch. She's going to have to take a dodge. And you got to try to get the number 13 skink down pitch as well. Oh, I would have taken it with Britney first. I guess it doesn't matter if you have no rerolls remaining. Oh, the one dodge she had to make, and she failed it, and she's stunned, effectively taking her out for the rest of the half, perhaps the rest of the game. Turn 15 now for knee high to Nuffle. They're going to try to blitz down Lisa Loeb. There's an assist. Currently a one die block. Here's the two die blitz. Gets the pal. That's all he needed. Doesn't follow up. Looks like he's going to score here. There it is. Two to one. Knee high to nothing. Takes the lead. I was about to say increases their lead. <laughs> Takes the lead. Well done by Clampius. One turn left for PPFC to try to tie this game up. The beautiful, the elegant knee high to nuffle cheerleaders. Not so trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. It has been a good game. Oh man, that babe not putting in the work. She's done. She's like, forget you. <laughs> One knocked out player comes back onto the bitch. PPFC is going to get one final turn here. To try to score. They can't do it unless they get a riot. Man, those super aggressive um, blocks on the cage. Whew. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Not so trusty Patches says they could attempt a, a one turn touchdown, but they can't they can't get it. Unless I'm missing something, they can't get it. Avril Levine back to receive. Two man player advantage for knee high to Nuffle. Six-man line. He had enough of screening out the entire pitch. PPFC resetting their line. They're putting two players in the left wide zone, two in the right. The Merc Skink's going to move up into the halfback position. Here's the kick. PPFC hoping for a riot. It's not enough. He had enough. It's going to get the perfect defense. They get to reset their defense. That's going to do it. Nehide and Uffel's going to win this one. Two to one. Well done to Clypeus and Nehide and Uffel. Knee high and Uffle will be the new Mid Atlantic Mauling League champions. Congratulations to Clypheus. We'll see if we get a, a GG foul or two <laughs> in here before the game's over. Man, what a season it has been. Oh, man. I was really hoping that those YOLO uphills would work out just for hype. <laughs> just for hype. <laughs> And J.R. Wilkes says, no, no, I have five more minutes. That's very true. You have five more minutes as league champion. <laughs> you have three minutes, 40 seconds. <laughs> Dude, I'm locking the line. Gets a push unless there's an early turnover. <laughs>
Oh man, I I love this game so much, so much. You, I, you know, I say it over and over and over and over again, and I apologize for repeating myself, but this this reminds me so much of a fighting game. It, it shares so many things in common with games like Street Fighter. Um, I, you just have so much agency, so many choices you can make, so many decisions, both strategically and tactically, and so much freedom to play in your own style. It's so much fun when you're like, OK, I know how lizards work. Right. I understand how lizards work. I understand how to play them. And then you watch two different coaches like we saw this season play lizards in two different ways. It's it's so fun. It's just such a fun game. I love Blood Bowl so much. You can play your team your way and uh, you can prove everyone wrong. You think you you think you've got uh, got a killer strat. It can work out for you. If the, uh, the matchup's right, if you've if you've got a read, if you've downloaded your opponent, then uh, then you can pull it out with some some fancy maneuvering. Go for the ball pickup, because why not? Have a Levine with the ball. For the last time. She's going to move up to the four yard line. Here's the foul. The first of two GG fouls. Let's go. One assist on the foul. Doesn't get anything out of it. <laughs> uh, that'll be the turn. That'll be the turn for PPFC. Nihide and Uffle gets one turn left. It is only polite. <laughs> it is only to polite to respond with a, a GG foul in kind. Turn 16. Final turn of the season. Coming up. <laughs> That's right. Where was the uphill block? <laughs> Two die block on the left side of the line. <laughs> Gonna try to take out Shirley Manson. Doesn't do it. Whatever happened to garbage anyway? Are they still around? <laughs> Not so trusty patches. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Looks like a blitz on the Crocs trying to take out Bjork. Minotaur coming in for the blitz. Mighty Blow and Claw. Nope, just going to take it with Oblivious. Gets the knockdown. And now, and now, GG Foul. GG Foul, please. Boy, boy, gets a dodge push here. Gets the pow on the Merc. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna break the Merc's armor. All right, gets a KO. That's fine. Uninsurable with the one, two, three, four. The four assist foul. Here it comes. Not so trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. Hooved right in the gut. <laughs> Breaks armor. And he gets a stun, gets called off. <laughs> no, sir. You're out for the rest of the rest of the game. That is it. Knee hide and uffle wins two to one. They are the new Mid-Atlantic Mauling League. Champions, congratulations to Clypheus and knee high to Nuffle. What a run it's been all season long by this team. PPFC, no slouch either. They're going to end the season in second place, the second best team of the league.
Man, what a game it's been. PPFC is going to walk away with 8 SPP. Nehi and Nuffle is going to walk away with 17. And that's how the bracket has shaken out. Nehi to Nuffle, the Mid-Atlantic Mauling League champions. PPFC second place. Pity the Ghoul ends in third. A Reptile Dysfunction, coached by Nick Satan, the former, former <laughs> league champion. So they're going to end the league in fourth place. Pity the Ghoul, I'm sorry, Jingles All The Way is going to end in fifth and all the rest of us lowly people <laughs> are all below them. <laughs> so, oh man, what a fun time it's been. I absolutely adore this game. I was gushing before the game was over. Um, I, I want to thank everybody, all the coaches, everyone who's come out to watch, everybody who's a fan of Blood Bowl, everybody who has helped in the production, um, everybody who's gotten hype. Just thank you so much. I, You know, a lot of people think games don't mean a lot, and I think games mean a ton, right? At the end of the day, we go to work, we make money, we, we do all the things we need to do so that we can have fun. And this this is an outlet for that, and I, I feel honored. I feel privileged to be able to share that with everyone. Everyone who comes out and watches the games and plays the games and, and helps out. Um, so thank you very, very much. Um, I, I cannot express my thanks <laughs> anymore. <laughs> um, or even even in a way that that is due like uh, you guys are great uh, i love doing this um we're gonna take a break for a few weeks after which we're gonna open up uh we're gonna open up registration for season three it's a coming uh when registration opens you can head on over to our discord um and you can find information when registration opens it'll be on our twitch i'm sorry on our twitter account and our Facebook account. And you can check us out in Discord and you can find all the information for that right there on your screen. You can find all the links here on Twitch on either of those accounts on our website, um, on our YouTube archive, Blood Bowl Mammal, even on our podcast site. Check them all out when you get a chance. Um, we put a lot of effort into this. Uh, I will stop gushing here. We'll have our final outro of the season. And before we do, I, I just want to say uh, this outro is a little different. Uh, I just wanted to highlight some of the real world stuff that comes out of this league. Again, I think games really matter. Um, yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into the production, a lot of a lot of work that is the input. And I wanted to show some of that off. And I wanted to show some of the output as well, some of the stuff that happens in real life, thanks to the league. You know, people playing Blood Bowl together and, and having fun and sitting down with their family and friends and watching a game and, and having fun. And and uh, I just, I really want to appreciate uh, show my thanks. So uh, thank you all again. Um, I hope you enjoyed the season. I'm looking very much forward to season three. Again, it is an open. We have three open competitions a season and then a fourth invitational. That's the championship game. Um, it is open to anyone new and veteran coach alike. You can hop in and out of competitions in the season at will. We have a pretty um, we have lots of rules that basically just make it very easy to play. We want to get all your problems off the table so that you can play. And you never, even if you miss out on a competition, you never have to feel like uh, you're out of it. Uh, again, uh, Jingles All The Way, they only participated in a single competition. They made it to, to the finals here. They ended up in fifth place. So come hang out with us. It's a lot of fun. Thank you again. I hope you enjoyed it. See you back here for season three. Have a great night, everybody.